Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be installing the short fly screen windshield thing on my uh, bike. Reason why I'm installing this, one, looks cool, two, uh, hopefully it will deflect some wind. I recently just switched from wearing a full face helmet to a, a half face, open face helmet. This one's by Arai. This is the classic V. I think it's discontinued now, um, but here it is. Um, mainly because it gives me more visibility on my perif peripherals. Uh, but I will also still be wearing this for, you know, vlogging since I can't put a camera on the open face helmet. So this is everything that came in the box. Um, I bought it on eBay, but if you buy it through your dealer, it would be the same components. One, you get the tinted plastic windshield. Let me take it out. It's a little difficult, but tinted windshield. And you get a little guard. Uh, metal. I don't know if this is stainless steel, but it's uh, metal. And on the back side, there's a little foam piece so it doesn't scratch the thing, the plastic. And then you get one bolt, wait, two new bolts for uh, the assembly, which I will show you in just a moment. You have some gaskets that go on the plastic part and more rivet looking things that goes over those rubber gaskets. Oh, and also you will get these two mounting brackets. The official installation manual uh, wants you to take off the whole headlight so you would take the screw out take the headlight out and then disconnect the indicators and take the wire out so then you can uh, disassemble this take this out and then slide the cable through this hole on this bracket here and then fit it like that that would take about 45 minutes so what I'm going to do I got this from a fellow um, YouTube content creator, uh, Ride with Jerry. He suggested, or what he did was, he he made a cut right here in this groove, so you don't have to take the headlight assembly out. You would just have to simply loosen them, and then loosen this bolt right here, and you simply just slide it on instead of taking the whole thing out. So now I'm just going to, as you can see, I've already done a little bit of cutting right here. Um, I'm gonna cut this groove out. And since I don't have a angle grinder, I'm just gonna use a hacksaw and then saw it off and then uh, file it. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, so after sawing, mine looks like this now. So you can see, I will have just have to slide the cable through. I don't know if it will as affect the structural integrity. I don't know if the vibrations will loosen it or anything. Uh, however, I you know I, I I don't think it's gonna affect it that much. Um, you know, but I just saved myself about 30 minutes. Okay, to disassemble the turn signal indicator, you will need a 19 millimeter wrench. And for the front nut right here, it is a, I think this is a 12 millimeter socket. So 12 millimeter up front, 19 millimeter in the back. So first of all, I'm going to remove the turn signals and then I will remove these two bolts. Then I will put in the bracket. Okay, my left turn signal, uh, the cable in the back is very, very short. I managed to pull it a little bit. Hopefully it still works. Um, let me loosen the front. Anyway, forgot to mention how these brackets go. Let's show you really quickly. Um, it curves inward, so it's like a L bracket and it curves inward and it should go like that. I just noticed something. The bolt that came with the fly screen is just a tad shorter than the original bolt. So I think I'm just going to keep using the uh, original bolt here. One more thing to watch out for um, on these stock indicators. Let me unscrew this and show you. On the bottom, there is a little pin 
I don't know if you can see it. There's a little pin which, um, you know, seats into a little groove in here. So uh, to ensure the alignment, um, that's why the bracket comes with a little notch there, which we have cut off. But if you have an aftermarket indicator, that should not be a problem. You would just have to align it um, by hand. Tighten the indicators down just by hand, and then I will install the fly screen. So for the fly screen, you can break it out of here. It's a pretty nice, it's nicely wrapped in this vinyl material so it doesn't scratch during transport. Let's start with this. So your pack of rubber ring gaskets, whatever you want to call these, you want to insert them into each hole. So when you are screwing them in, you don't crack the plastic. First one installed, it might leave some uh, smudges on the plastic, you can just wipe that off. Okay, so after installing the rubber gaskets, you can wipe it down with a little microfiber towel, get the smudge off, and then you will take these rivet looking things and then you want to insert them into each hole on top of the gasket, facing outward. Just like that, and then time for the installation. Well, actually, um, this is optional. If you want, you can put this on, you know, depends. You can definitely leave it on like this, but I think I'm gonna put this on for now. And if I don't like it, I'll just take off this metal piece. Okay, so for these front screws, you will need a three millimeter Allen key or you can put it on a screwdriver. Got the top installed, now for the bottom. These bolts should be firm, but you don't want to over tighten them. So lastly, I'm going to tighten all the bolts on the side. So the headlight assembly and the uh, indicator. Again, you don't want to tighten it too much. I don't know if these need to be torqued, um, don't have a torque wrench, so this will do. You will need a lot of patience uh, because space is very limited unless you have a, you know, more appropriate tool for this. So if you, if you just have a wrench like me, you would just have to, you know, fiddle around and uh, try to get it to fit. Again, like the headlight assembly bolts, you don't want to uh, tighten them too tight. All right, uh, just firm, you know, make sure it doesn't fall off. Um, and uh, that will be it for the installation. The very last thing you want to do is you want to turn on your bike and test the uh, indicators. So left and right. All right, they both work and uh, now you can go for a ride. Oh yeah, remember to clean up your tools and always put them back where you got them from.